But today, I have a message for you in 2024. Just break out of that comfort zone. Break out of that cave. Break out of that closed door. And just do what scares you. Redeem, redeem, redeem by the blood of the Lamb, redeem, redeemed in Christ forever I am, redeem, redeem, redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, redeem, redeemed. In Christ forever I am. Welcome, welcome, child of God. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. From what time you're watching me from, I hope and trust that you're well and God has kept you. My shining subscribers, welcome. My new subscribers, welcome. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch my content. I don't take it for granted. And my prayer to you today is that may God bless you, may God enrich you, and may God meet you at your most point of need. And if you're watching me for the first time, welcome. My name is Truth. I'm born again, and Jesus Christ is my personal savior. And here I share faith-based content. I share the word of God, and I also help women become better version of themselves with the word of God. So if this sounds like a content that love to consume, I'm going to encourage you kindly join this growing family and subscribe to this channel down below here and remember to put on the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video you're always among the first people to be notified so welcome to this channel and I'm glad you are here today I thank God for your presence here today and trust me your life shall never be the same again and thank you so much for the support you've been giving me so far thank you so much for the shares you're sharing this content is so overwhelming and i don't take it for granted just know that you're expanding the kingdom of god and just know that you're doing something in the kingdom of god and trust me mark my words today as you continue sharing the word of god as you continue coming back to this platform trust me your life shall never be the same again god is going to beautify your life as you are beautifying the kingdom of God, God is going to beautify your life for his own glory. Praise the name of the Lord. And today I'm here to share something with you. And I hope and trust that this message is going to change your life. This message is going to do something to your life, especially if you're a believer, if you're a chosen one, especially if you're a woman of God, if you're a man of God, if you're a worshiper, if you're being chosen by God, I hope and trust that this message is going to do something to your life and this message will take you to the next level in your ministry to the glory and hall of god if you're watching me from any part of the world and if you don't know i'm a kenyan citizen i was born and raised in kenya but that one does not matter what matters is that you are all citizens in the kingdom of god i want to share with you something and i know and many Christians, many believers, many children of God are battling with it and some of them are not bold enough to come out and share their story. Some of them fear stigma. Some of them fear the society, how society is going to look at them, how society is going to judge them. So the best thing men and women of God will do is just to hide behind closed doors and most of them will never talk about them. And did you know that many believers, many Christians, many powerful women of God, many powerful men of God, anointed children of God are hiding behind closed doors, battling with one thing or another. Some of them might be battling with depression. Some of them might be battling with things that they cannot share with the public and share because many people are looking up to them and God has trusted them with a flock. And that flock is looking up to them and the flock is thirsty, the flock is hungry, the flock is looking up to inspiration garage to pour something into their lives. So it's very difficult for me to come here and share my depression and share my struggles, you know, because you're looking up to me and you are eager to listen of what God has impacted into my life for me to be able to pour into your life and build your life. 
over the weekend in Kenya, we had a praise and worship atmosphere. Praise and worship atmosphere is a platform or rather is a gathering of Christians or believers who come together to worship God. And praise and worship atmosphere has been organized by Evelyn Wanjiru, is an all gospel artist in Kenya. And God placed a word in her life and Evelyn does that concert every year. And that concert happened to be last weekend. And so unfortunate that I was not able to attend that concert because of some unavoidable circumstances. But by the grace of God, I happened to watch that concert online. And it was a very successful event and we give glory to God. And during that worship, child of God, something really caught my eye, something really caught my ear, and something really caught my attention. And it left me wondering how many women, men of God, the old powerful ministers of God are going through the same and they're not able to air out their issue. They're not able to share out their struggles because of the society and how the society is looking up to them. As you know very well, we are living in a very judgmental society where they expect women and men of God to be perfect. They expect powerful women of God to be perfect and not to have any struggles in life. But you know, at the end of the day, one thing you need to understand is that we have been all born up of flesh and blood. And we are also just depending on God. We are depending on the Holy Spirit just the same way you are also depending on the Holy Spirit. So the same struggles you also go through is also the same struggles we go through as men and women of God. But most of us, we fear to come out and share our struggles because of the stigma. I was listening to one of our only own minister of the gospel, a powerful woman of God, Edith Wairimu Kenya, anointed woman of God of this generation. Many powerful gospel ministers are looking up to Edith Wairimu. But something that Edith Wairimu shared. <laughs> Earlier on this year, the devil made a scheme and he drew a dart straight to my heart. I looked at myself and I felt worthless. And I wondered, will I ever serve God again? <laughs> and let me tell you, it was so intense that I hid myself and stayed away from people for 10 months, January, February, up to October, seeing nobody, being in the house. At some point in those 10 months, I used to sit and stare at a wall like a television and the devil thought he had me and I heard the devil tell me you will never sing again and I heard the devil tell me you are not worthy to minister again and I heard all these voices and I cried to God and I told him Lord remember me for it is written in Psalms 118 verse 17 that I will not die but I will live to declare the goodness of God Ah, and in verse 18 of Psalms 118, it says, Though the Lord chastises me, he will not destroy me, he will uphold me. And I woke up and I said, Nita si mama. For the past 10 months of this year, despite Edith Wairim being a powerful woman of God, Edith Wairim also had her own share of depression, feeling confused feeling tired, and she was at the verge of giving up. Just take a moment and think of our own powerful woman of God, behind closed bars, behind closed doors, depressed, confused, giving up, feeling useless, and this woman has blessed many people with her songs. This woman has healed many people with her songs. And this woman is behind closed bars, battling depression she shared her story during the praise and worship atmosphere she was battling with a situation that she was not able to disclose it publicly but the most important thing you should know that she was battling depression and she was confused and she was almost at a verge of giving up it left me wondering how many women 
and men anointed powerful men of God are hiding behind bars in depression and they are not able to share their story they are not able to come out and share publicly their story because of the society the stigma the society is harsh the society is expecting us to be strong society is expecting us not to shed a tear the society is expecting us not to be broken and you forget at our point of brokenness is when God lifts us up. The society expect us to be strong from January to December without being broken. And as it were, Rimu could not share. The only thing she could do is to stay behind closed doors and battle depression. Many believers are at this point. Many women of God, child of God are at this point. It reminded me of my own life sometimes back in 2020. I closed doors and I was battling depression. Many people didn't know that. Many friends of mine, family members, friends, colleagues, they did not know that I was battling depression in 2020. Not just because of COVID, but so many things were just going around my life. Life was just happening to me. But you see, I was not able to share because I'm mentoring so many people, many girls, many women are looking up to me, especially how I carry myself. They're looking up to my faith. They're looking up to my strength. So I was not able to share it to people. But the only thing was just to close my doors and battle depression and fight this depression and conquer this depression on my own behind closed doors. It left me wondering how many ministers, women of God, are passing through this situation this season and they're not able to share it. Now, child of God, the most interesting part of it is that when Edit Wairimu came out this year, October, and as it decided to break the silence, as it decided to conquer depression, as it decided to come out of her comfort zone, as it decided to come out of this cocoon, and as it decided to face this giant called depression bodily. And when Edith Wairimu faced this giant, she came out strong and God placed a song in her spirit by the title Nitasimama. The devil wanted to crush Edith Wairimu, but God stood firm on behalf of Edith. God did not allow the devil to crush Edith. God did not allow the devil to smash Edith, but God allowed Edith to stand firm in faith and Edith came out stronger. And Edith Wairimu has produced a song, a song that has more than 3 million views in less than 3 months, a song that is blessing people, a song that is healing people, a song that is changing lives, and a song that is blessing children of God, and a song that is changing lives to glory and to another glory. Children of God, this powerful testimony left me thinking and asking myself so many questions. As a woman of God, what is this that I'm hiding from? What is this challenge that I'm hiding from people? What is this area of my life that I'm struggling with and I'm hiding from the flock that God has trusted me with? This testimony left me asking myself so many questions. What is this thing that I'm hiding from people? What is this thing that I'm struggling with silently and I'm hiding from people, children of God? The flock that God has trusted me with on Inspiration Garage is waiting for me to pour something into their life, is waiting for me to speak a word into their life. Children of God on this platform are waiting to hear what God has trusted me with to pour into their life. But there's this something that I'm hiding from them. There's this something I'm struggling with. And the world is waiting for me to pour into their life, children of God. If you're watching me right now, what are you struggling with? If you're a woman of God, a minister of the gospel, you sing songs that bless us people, you pour a word into people's life and it changes their life. 
You have changed people's destiny through the word that God has placed into your life. But what is this one thing, child of God, that you're struggling with behind the bars? What is this repression, this denial, this confusion that you're struggling with as a child of God? I know many people after COVID, things changed. Many people are struggling with different issues in their lives. And because God has chosen you and because you're a minister of the gospel, you're not able to share to the world because you're wondering how the world is going to take it. People are looking up to you to bless their life. But there's this one struggle, child of God, that you're struggling with, you're hiding behind the bars. Today I'm here to bring for you a prophetic message. God is just waiting for you to make that step as Edith Wairimu and come out of that hiding place and come out of that cave, woman of God. The world is waiting for you to bless them with your testimony. The world is waiting you to change their lives through your testimony, child of God. Child of God, brethren, we can all derive from this testimony of Edith Wairimu. It's a high time as we end the year 2023 and as we usher in the year 2024. God is just waiting for you to face that fear. It's a high time you come out of that cocoon. It's a high time you come out of that fear. Even though you are not a minister of the word of God, these are the challenges we face in our daily life. These are the challenges we face every day in our daily life, child of God. It does not matter where you are at this moment. It does not matter where you're watching me from at this moment, child of God. But these are powerful testimonies that we need to drive our strength from. What is that fear you're facing right now? You're fearing to face unhealthy relationship. You're fearing to face those depths. You're fearing to face those challenges. You're fearing to face that toxic relationship. You're hiding in that toxic relationship, child of God. You're hiding behind the bars. You're hiding and you're just passing it over and over. Anytime you come to the end of the year, you are unable to face that challenge. You are carrying it to the next level and the next level. Anytime the year ends, you carry that challenge to the next year and to the next year, child of God. But God is saying to you right now, it's a high time you face that toxic relationship. It's a high time you face that challenge, body, child of God. It's a high time you face that struggling marriage. It's a high time you face those depths, child of God. It's a high time, child of God, you come out of that cocoon and face that unhealthy relationship and face that unhealthy, toxic working environment, child of God. It's a high time you walk up from that hiding cocoon, from that cave, child of God, and just take out of the net and face that challenge, child of God. Many people are waiting to hear from you. Many people are waiting to hear your testimony. How many millions of people that are waiting to hear your testimony and like of Edith Wairimu until she came out of that cocoon, until she came out of that hiding space and God placed a word in her life and she came out and she composed a song that is blessing millions of people and changing lives to the glory and hall of God. How many millions of people are waiting to hear your testimony? How many millions of people are waiting for you to come out of that cocoon and come out and pour something into their lives, child of God? I've told you I battled depression in 2022, but by the grace of God, I was able to change my story. I was able to come out of that cocoon. I was able to come out of depression. If I did not come out of that space, child of God, I could not be here pouring something into into your life there'll be no inspiration garage if i was not able to come out of that cocoon child of god god is asking you right now to come out of that game god is saying to you right now come out of that cocoon god is saying to you right now come out of that unhealthy relationship child of god god is 
saying to you right now, come out of that toxic environment. God is saying to you right now, make a step. If only you can change your life, child of God, nobody will come into your life and change your life. The decision lies right in your hands, child of God. If you desire to change your life, if you desire to come out of that situation, child of God, it all lies into your hands. You have the capacity to change your life. You have the capacity to come out of that comfort zone. Nobody will come to take you out of that depression. It all lies in your hands, child of God. If you're watching me right now and you desire to come out of that cave, you have been hiding for so many years. You have been hiding behind closed curtains. You have been hiding behind closed bars. You have been hiding into that depression. God is saying to you right now, as we usher into 2024, come out of that depression. Come out of that hiding space. People are waiting to hear from you. People are waiting to hear your testimony. The world is waiting for you to be a blessing. The world is waiting for you to change their life and to pour something into their life, child of God. If you're watching me right now and you desire change of story, if you're watching me right now and you desire a new level as we usher in the end of the year, if you're watching me, child of God, and you like to change your story and you love to write a new page, child of God, if you're watching me right now and you want to come out of that game, child of God, the most important thing right now is to give your life to Jesus, is to say, Jesus, I'm here. Listen to the voice of God, child of God. If you had a change of story and you're watching me right now, it's a high time before we end the year and you want to come out of that grave, give your life to Jesus, child of God, and trust me, your life shall never be the same again. I'd like you to close your eyes right now and just say this simple prayer and believe in your heart and trust me your life shall never be the same again kindly i'm going to request you right now to close your eyes and just believe in your heart and trust me your life will never be the same again just say with me this simple prayer jesus i'm here i'm a sinner wash my sins and cleanse me with your precious blood rub my name in the book of death and please write my name in the book of eternity. If you say that prayer, congratulations. Just believe in your heart that God has washed away your sins because he came for the imperfect. He has washed your sins today and he has written your name into the book of eternity. Congratulations. I'm going to encourage you to find a church near you. Find a congregation of believers, men of God will lay hands on you and they will usher you into the ways of God. Congratulations, it's a new beginning for you and trust me, your life shall never be the same again. Child of God, as I end this powerful message, kindly allow me to end this powerful message by this quote from our own Pastor Juliana Kula. As I quote, as he said, you have the choice to either remain in the space where you are forever a slave to fear or break out to do what scares you child of god today right now i know god has spoken to you god has spoken something to you i'm convinced that god has spoken something to you and something has happened to you god is saying right now you have a choice either to remain in the same cocoon to be a slave of fear and to come out and break that fear and do what scares you. Thank you so much for watching this message. Thank you so much for being here today. I hope you've learned something from this message today. And if you're watching these messages and you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly join this growing family by subscribing to this channel down below here and put on the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, you're always among the first people to be notified. Thank you so much for being here. Remember to tell someone about Jesus today. Enjoy your holidays to the glory and honor of God. Goodbye and God bless you.